Silver Dollar City is open for the year, and we're here to check it out. So welcome to Silver Dollar City. It is March of 2022. Uh, the park has been open for about a week. We're here miss opening week crowds, which is a good thing. Uh, a little chilly today, but excited. They've got all sorts of new offerings this year. The saloon shows back in the saloon. Uh, they've actually got a number of shows opening, uh, which is really nice because usually this time of year, it's just the rides. We've got entertainment right now too, which is great. Uh, great year of entertainment ahead. I'm gonna try and show you some of the changes around the park, some of the new things, uh, some of the things that are coming, as well as a couple things that you really should check out this year because you might not get a chance afterwards. Actually where the fire was this last year you can see it's all cleared out and they are in the midst of still working on it uh, they pretty much removed all the destruction but what they're rebuilding well that we're gonna have to wait and see but for now it's still basically an empty walled off construction area but you can see from the tree over there some of the scars from the fire I know some were concerned about this after the fire you can see it is still here they have done a little bit of work rebuilding a couple things up here in front and repainting, but it's opening up in April. So I don't remember this shop, but um, might have been here last year, but I think this one is new. Uh, the Bent Spoon, where they actually make things out of spoons, as you can see on the side of the building there with the butterflies. This is actually right by the lumber camp. You can see the eating area right there. And the entrance to Powder Keg is just up the hill. It's kind of hiding behind one of the other shops, but a neat looking little shop. Also down at this end, this little eatery has changed again. Uh, it's been a couple different things in the past, including strawberries, uh, desserts, drinks. So now it's corn dogs and tenders. So it actually has food in it. And you can see the line over here. Uh, that line is something that I would strongly encourage you to ride this year. And that is fire in the hole. While they have not said one way or the other, there is a big construction project and their strong suspicion is this is the last year for it. So make sure you get your rides in and fire in the hole this year, because if you don't, you may not get a chance to, at least not this version of it. This is actually something else new that they are offering this year at the saloon, at least for part of the year, uh, not during the summer. 
but there are times during the year when they were going to be offering preferred seating if you have the appropriate pass. There's positive and negatives to the balcony. You get a great view, but you're also up in the balcony. <laughs> So down here by the tin type shop in the old fashioned photos is something that a lot of people will also miss, but it makes a great photo spot. It's right, the stagecoach is actually right down here now. They have had this up by the square sometimes, but there it is. If you want a great photo, you can come down here and get a picture right in front of it. Uh, it is closed off so you can't get in it or on it. Uh, that's for safety reasons, but doesn't it look pretty? So here's something a lot of people walk by and completely miss and don't realize. This area here actually used to be a kid's play zone. You can see the ladders and the bridge. Um, and they used to have a lot more to it. But kids used to be able to climb up there, climb around. They used to be able to come over here too. And there were some climbing nets and stuff. Uh, it's closed off now, not a play area anymore. But that area is actually still used by the park as a kind of a lookout zone. Though so you can see a couple different things up there and they get a good eye view of a lot of the park from up there. This is actually something that I like to see that they've kept. Um, it was kind of built out here just before COVID and it actually became one of the main COVID stages because it's all outdoors. Before that, this area was just a pretty much empty walkway. But now they've got this stage here and they use it for a variety of things. Uh, I got a bluegrass band playing right now. They actually have entertainment, like I said, during the spring ride week, which is great. And it uh, does a nice job of kind of filling in what was just an empty spot before. And their smile is sweet and tender as a moon out on the sea. Her brown eyes softly beaming, fill with love for me.
every building. Off the left side, it comes to the third ball of blue. Go in there and you're going to... Way back through, I pick you up. Of course, I gotta warn you. When I say pick you up, I mean off the ground, y'all. You know what, Bowling? If there's nine mean Yankees down there with that kind of evil plan, there's only one thing I can do. Yeah. Hey, come on, back up the train. Hey, come on, you stay put. Hey, you get back here, you big chicken. What you call me? Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> you gotta... I can you gotta do it. He got to do it. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to do what? You gotta go down there and fight him. Fight him? Yeah, you know what fight him is. F. F. I. I. T. D. Um. Um. Fight him. Fight him. Fight him. Fight him. Fight, him. fight, fight, fight. Um, um, um. Push back. Jump back. Way back. <laughs> Bowling? No, no. Do not encourage them, please. Hey, Bowling, if I try to go down there and fight nine mean Yankees with this little six shooter, I'll probably get myself killed. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, do you? No, cool. no. In fact, we're going to have a brilliant idea, plan. Man, I'm worried about these Yankees. All right, help me out there. Well, when you get on the train, you get all them little kids, all them little curtain climbers, tank fighters. Yo, know, they're all through out there, and you form them into a big old possum, and you send them down there as weight number one. Hey, uh, Alfie, I can probably call all them little kids my uh, infantry. Yeah? Or you could just leave the funny stuff up to us. Fine, what's the next part of your plan? Well, that's part two. It comes after part one. You're going to get on the train and get all them men. All them big, big strong, strong. Huskies. Nope. We're going to get the train to try to hurt the big, strong husky men. Yeah, I noticed that back at the depot. There ain't but two or three on the whole train. Yeah, that's about all lights on. I don't know what you're smiling for, buddy. You ain't doing nothing right now. <laughs> all right, quit being mean. Tell the rest of your plan. Well, well that's it. That's you get all them men together, and you send them down, and you travel right along with them with your little six-shooter thing, and you whoop up on all them Yankees. That's your plan. Yeah. Whole plan. Yeah, both parts. Bowling, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you a little bit of credit here because that is absolutely positive, that. without question. <laughs> the dumbest plan I've ever heard in my life. Dumb. Dumb. D-U-M, dumb. D-U-M, yeah, yeah, dumb. Whatever. But, but what's so dumb, dumb about it? Well, let's review. You want me to get all the kids off the train, yeah. send them to fight the Yankees. You want me to get all the big, strong, husky men? Yeah, don't forget him. Yeah. Yeah. Send them down there to fight Yankees, and I'm going to fight the Yankees. Yeah. That'll leave you two here with a train load full of women. Yeah, I'm not here in the dumb car. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Bowling? Before I think about this, I ain't buying your little Yankees. You can see. He has got a long line. So you can see the crowds have definitely started to pick up. We've got long lines for the food. And definitely filled in quite a bit. So we're going to head down to Fireman's Landing and see if we can get a look at the construction site. So one of the things that's always need is to see what they've got in the Frisco Freight Company barn. Interesting with the wall up this time, but lots of shirts and only part of it open. Okay, so Fireman's Landing, and it is down here that you'll be able to see what little bit of signs of construction work you can. So there is Mystic River Falls. They're up the ladder. And then the bathroom there is also actually the local break room. And the construction is going to be up here. So through this fence, and then 
up and over there. So again, you can see the side of the fire station. The big wall there separates off the little festival area. It's on the other side of that. And then it's over here. And it's very hard to see much. nice improvement compared to when my wife had it. And I love the fact that they have landscaped these hills. This whole area down here looks so much better. So spring, lots of pastel colors available on the stuff right now. And it kind of seems to be the form this year. Happy vibes, good vibes. But I don't hear the Beach Boys singing good vibrations. That doesn't seem to fit. <laughs> so there's a look at Silver Dollar City. Hope you enjoyed some of the changes they've got this year. Not a great look at the construction. It's a little bit hard to see, uh, but definitely some big changes coming there. So get your rides and fire in the hole this year and we will see when they eventually announce what's coming soon. Uh, you see the little changes um, and very busy days ahead. Uh, good to see the saloon back in, lots of entertainment, lots of stuff happening this year. So if you want to know more, be sure to check out their website, silverdollarcity.com. I hope you enjoyed this day out here with me. Thank you so much to my patrons and my financial supporters for helping to make it possible. And thank you so much for watching. God bless. Yeah.